Am I dreaming or what? You will wake up to find out that I have come to warn you. When men gather to prepare a potent medicine for the eyes, they do not consider pepper. Anna go go danya. Edit in yourself. I don't understand. I don't know the specific warning that was completed. If you want to know how a grave looks like, dig your own grave. Attempt one more time to dig into the grave of my son, and you will see the fire in it. And what son? Can you withstand? The fire! Obuvi, all my life, I have never attempted to dig any grave before. What grave are we talking about now? There is a lesson my son is learning, and you are not the one teaching him. Allow him to make mistakes and correct himself. Interfere once more in my son's learning process and i will show you i will expose you to something mightier than fire i was young when you were buried are you confirming to me that you are not dead then appear to me. Are you sure you're still normal? <laughs> A young man in the caliber of HDMA proposed to you and you turned him down. What exactly are you looking for in a man that HDMA does not have? <laughs> different maids, different faces. Different tales and different mindsets. Okay, Ruka. If you consider Echidime to be the best, go ahead and marry him. He is not for me. And I'm asking you why. Are you aware that he's already admitted into the prestigious Iwino of a society? Mm -hmm. As a young man, he has already killed a lion. Once he marries, he will be given the title of Uwago. And because he killed a lion, I shall accept to be his wife. Come on, Nkiruka. Give me some credit. I am not in that class. Why are we celebrating stupidity in this part of the world? Please, Maneka, don't insult me. Why are you calling me stupid? I am not referring to you, my friend. I am referring to our men. Any man that carries a gun and enters into the forest to hunt and kill innocent animals that are living in their world it's very stupid to me. Such a man can go ahead and marry any woman, and not me. You mean you have a problem with our hunters killing our animals for food? Every reasonable human being should have a problem with that. 
For crying out loud in Kiruka, we have goats, cows, rams, chickens, and other animals already domesticated for human consumption. Any man that is killing helpless animals with gun is not worthy to be my husband. Go and tell Echidime that I, one Neka, said so. But why are you looking for trouble? Why are you blocking my way to the front? Your father appeared in my dream. I was young when he passed on. And I'm here to confirm that he was a great man. Great men do not appear anyhow. Now I want you to tell me what you reported to him that warranted him to appear in my dream. That's a lab. You must do me one good favor. Leave the room. I am running late for fun. I'm not finding this blockage any funny. You're not the only one that is running behind time. Go back to your father's grave and tell him that Ezelabo is not planning anything evil against you. Tell him that I have no interest whatsoever in any of your wives. I have women littered everywhere in this kingdom. Tell your father that I was only joking when I asked you to pass your wife over to me. I've heard you. Can you clear from the road? Eh, I want you to swear on this your cutlass that you will kneel before your father's grave and say what I've just said. I will do what you ask me to do. Good, but swearing on my cutlass is one thing I cannot do. Uh, mm -hmm. It's alright. Okay, okay. Swear on these virgin grasses that are looking at us that you will do it. I promise you that I will do what you ask me to do. But I can never swear. Now, touch my head and tell me that you will see what I've said. As a labo, as I can get away from my road. Even my enemies will tell you that I cannot swear. I'm a man of integrity. Hmm? I've given you my words. I will do what you ask me to do. Tell your father that a living mask is better than a dead or a missing mask. Tell your father to stop appearing in my dreams. See, I know men that can change him. Let him not force me to do that. 
I was able to speak with her, and she explained why she turned your proposal down. It has nothing to do with you as a person, for I know she likes you. It has to do with your occupation as a hunter. Exactly what she said. But I wonder why a maiden of this land will have problem with a man making legitimate living as a hunter. Let me tell you the truth, Eshidime. I'm beginning to see reasons with what one neck has said. There is nothing legitimate in a man killing innocent animals. Wait, 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 wait. Don't even go there. What's this? Is this some sort of conspiracy or what? Listen. Hunting has always been a noble profession in our land. My father was a hunter. In fact, he was the one that gave me my first gun. And he was also the one that taught me how to shoot. So I don't understand why maidens of our land will suddenly be speaking ill about hunters. Let me ask you a simple question. I'm hoping to get a simple answer. Go ahead. Since you started taking from our forest by killing innocent animals that are living in their own world, what have you given back to the forest? I seriously don't understand. I mean, what do you mean by what have I given back to the forest? Listen to me. The maker of this world gave us the forest. And we are supposed to be taken from the forest. I don't understand. In fact, why should I be giving to the forest? What can even anyone give to the forest? What? I am glad I now know the kind of men we have. Our maidens are becoming aware of a lot of things. Men like you must start in time to reinvent themselves. Or they may never find a decent maiden to marry. They want me to stop hunting. So, what else do I do to end the living? I was washing my mouth when she ran into vomit. I have this feeling that she is pregnant. And I've come to you to confirm. Is she really pregnant? The same man that got you pregnant is responsible for her pregnancy. He is aware. I don't know why they are keeping this away from you. Um, I will give you a big run. I want her dead. It is not right to kill a pregnant woman. Killing her is tantamount to killing the baby in her womb. It is abomination to kill a child that never saw the earth. And I am the one who wants her dead. Let her blood and the blood of her unborn child be on my head. I mean, I am getting close to my happiness and I would not want any woman to share that experience with me. Are you sure you are ready to do this? And I'm asking you to get down to work. Why must she get pregnant same week I am due for delivery? I want that woman dead. She wants their blood on her head.
What is the problem? Is she dead? You didn't tell me the woman you want to kill is from lineage of warriors. I... I don't know her family history. But please just tell me, is she dead? The power that left my OCCO for has refused to return to me. I saw it hit the hut where she lay. Naturally, the occupants of the hut it hits must die. Okonta, that is not the answer I want to get. Please confirm to me that this woman is finally dead. She is under the protection of ancestral warriors. Physical destruction seems to be the only option left. We may not be able to kill her spiritually. Can you direct me to those that can be hired to carry out this physical destruction? I want this woman dead. I saw her run out of her compound to her people. Go and prepare what to do next while I await the return of my powers. Mama, I am telling you the truth. My husband has no hand in this. How are you sure? Why didn't he provide protection for his head wife? He came here and told me that he values you more than anything else. And that is the truth. My husband values me much more than anything in this world. He was not at home when I was attacked. He was in the farm. I was lying down when suddenly something hit the roof. And then I heard your voice clearly asking me to run that evildoers were planning to harm me. I ran immediately. I did not look back. Why are they daring the daughter of a warrior who is indeed a warrior? Why are they threatening your life now that Obana has visited you with conception? Why are they sending powers to attack my daughter? I don't know. I don't know. But believe me, my husband has nothing to do with this. You are going to remain in this compound until I unmask those that are planning the destruction of your unborn child. Thank you, Mother. <sighs> but my husband. Adadema, please. Don't tell me anything about your husband. If he loves you so much as he claims, he should come looking for you. You are going to remain here until I expose the identity of the people behind this attack. I am the daughter of a warrior. And mere mortals cannot cage my daughter. Why do I have this feeling that you're lying to me? But I am not lying. She waited for you to go to farm and run back to her people. My husband, it is a taboo in your land for a husband to go after his wife that ran away from her home without reason. And why on earth would she run away without reason? Tell me what you did to her that made her run away. What has come over you? I'm asking you, what has come over you? Is it that you just can't believe me or what? She got to the climax of her evil antics and the mother earth started pursuing her. My husband. Go in and change. I prepared your favorite. Please. And where do you think you are? I'm asking you, where are you going? I will not allow you bring this abomination upon yourself. Umba, never. It is a taboo for a man that married his wife with his own money to go after her after she ran away from her husband's home. I'm carrying your child. I will not let you die.
I am surprised at you. So, a woman from whom it be the kingdom is now teaching you the tradition of your people. Let me ask you. How dare you even nurse the idea of trying to trace a woman who absconded for no reason? Eh? I know there must be a reason she ran away. I know the woman I married. She cannot abscond without a reason. Mm. Yes. So what do you think is the reason? I don't know. That I must find out. Find out from who? Eh, Chino? Concentrate on your wife and forget about the one that ran away. Oh, Kenny. Leave that one that took off. I don't want to report you to the Council of Elders. So. Concentrate on this one. Forget about that one. I am not trying to impose any decision on you. But I sincerely think we should not hold her against her wish. She says she is missing her husband. We should allow her to go see him. Never. Is it because I've been keeping quiet lately? My name is Ezewa Endowala Gwagwa. I could be counted as one of the masquerades in Omoa Kingdom. Why should men threaten my daughter? Ezewa that is only in her imagination. There is no way we can prove that there was a threat if we force her to remain here. I think we should let her go. I'm sorry, educating who my brother. That is not going to happen. Chinua, my in-law, must appear before me and assure me once more that he's able to provide my daughter with the protection she needs. As long as he's not ready to appear before me and make that pronouncement, my daughter remains here.
Masnatin! Masnatin! I heard someone call my name. Why am I out here now and I can't see anybody? Men who are men will always make inquiries about their daughters when they are married in other lands. Why have you sent your daughter to Umuama Kingdom without asking how she is faring? I don't know who you are, but I advise you to be cautious. You are standing before Keke Okadiki, the Dejimba of Umibide Kingdom. You have no right to walk into my compound and make such unfounded allegations. You believe my allegation is unfounded? I don't just believe, but I know that the allegation is unfounded, for I'm in constant touch with my daughter, and as we speak now, she is pregnant, and will soon deliver his son to that family. From the way you are sounding, one will readily conclude that it flows in the blood. What flows in the blood? The witchcraft she's exhibiting in Umawa Kingdom. And I have concluded that she took after you. And I wonder why are they digging their graves in the grave of a man of many sides? Who are you? And what are you talking? Okwefi Udenebona of Umuwa Kingdom is standing by you. Can you destroy what I have built? Can you? Edemba, Edemba. I went to consult a seer in Abagada. wanted to know about my sons and their businesses and their families. What every responsible man will do once in a while. And that seer of Abagana, who I already paid good money for his divination, said only little about my sons and started telling me about the Zelaba and Mosso. Can you explain that? Ah. I am already confused with this information. That a seer was talking about me. And you are here now asking me to explain. Explain what? Eh? What am I going to explain? Eh? Am I a seer? I never said you are a seer. Because there is no way you can be a seer. A young man of my kingdom who will never mind his business can never attract the benevolent spirits that make one see us. Are you not aware? What is this? What have I done? What have I done to you? What have I done to deserve this? Eh? What will you be telling me to my face that I, 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 that I do not mind my, my business? But that is the truth. Do you mind your business? Yeah. You know, what do you do in this kingdom? Is it not to move around looking for things that are not looking for you? Is that not your stock in thread? Do you mind your business? Shut up! Obuefi Udeneborna of Umuwa Kingdom. Do you know him? 
Yes, yes. I knew him as a young man. <laughs> yes. What about him? Now listen to the message that the seer asked me to give you. Do not trigger the anger of that great man of this kingdom because you are going to be consumed in the process. That is what the seer said that I should tell you. And I wanted him to explain and he said that I should not bother myself that you will understand. I don't know what it is that I will understand but I am advising you if there is anything you are doing around with the neighbor and family have very think because that man will kill you. Humans and the spirits may train in the same market but they do not ever thread together. Come back here. Come back here and tell me what you mean. Oh. Zoe, so you are here. Oh, I slept off. Oh. <coughs> Let me go and prepare so that we can go for the meeting. Or are we late already? Oh, don't bother. You may continue with your sleep. The meeting has been postponed. Postponed? Why? For reasons best known to them, oh. I am certain they will fix another date. Oh. In the meantime, a man who introduced himself as a wifi Udenebona of Umonwa Kingdom paid me a visit. Obuefi Udenebona of Umonwa Kingdom is standing by you. Can you destroy what I have built? He came to you? What did he say? The question should be, what do you have with him? He said a lot, but all I could gather from his presentations is the gods are angry with you for marrying your daughter off to Mongwa Kingdom alone. Is that what he said to you? By the way, which gods are we even talking about? Gods of our land or gods of Mongwa Kingdom? Osheran Banugo, your wife has delivered a child, to the best of my knowledge. And I've been waiting for you to bring the cola and other things required for family prayer. Why have you not done that? Ichi Efedema. She has delivered of a child, like you said. But what she delivered is not what I was expecting. So I'm not... What are you talking about? And how do you mean? Ichi Efedema, you know what I'm talking about. I married that woman to give my son a replacement. Another son that can be presented to the ancestors as tradition demands. Rather, she brought forth a girl and I'm not part of that celebration. You are confirming to me, Oshio Rambanugo, that you are not going to present Kola for family prayer? Whenever she brings forth a, a boy, I will give you whatever you need for the family prayers. Oh. Yes, so I'm here. She has slept. Now I have enough time to talk and gist freely with you. <laughs> Talking about gist, exactly why I'm here. Masnachi, you must do everything possible to make sure you have a male child in your next delivery. Why would you say a thing like that? I have a very beautiful daughter and I'm very happy. I know you are very happy, but what of your mother-in-law? Is she happy? She was with my father earlier, and the way she sounded, I am afraid. Please, I don't want to talk about Ochiora Mbanogo for now. 
off. I ran into your husband and with excitement, he told me that you are finally pregnant. So I've come to see how you're faring. I'm very well, thank you, my dear. <laughs> but I am worried. Worried about what? I'm worried about my husband. It's been two weeks since I came here. And he has not come to know why I fled. Are you thinking he's ever going to come? Of course, yes. I only ran back here to tell my mother what happened to me that afternoon. I never planned to stay here. <sighs> then why don't you go back? You know you are the one that left without waiting for your husband. And tradition holds that he must not come for you. Or he'll be asked to pay fine. <sighs> I know. I know about that tradition. But I equally know that I mean much more to my husband than any fine. My mother ordered me not to live here. And you know I cannot disobey my mother. <sighs> so, as a matter of fact, are you trying to tell me that I should go and tell your husband to come and see you? Please do. Tell my husband that I did not run away from him. Tell him that I love him so much. Tell him that I only ran for my life. Tell him that I'm waiting for him to come. The highest thing they can do to you is find you. And I know Adadima is more important than fine. She told me she didn't run away from you, but she was attacked while lying down in her room. So she ran back to tell her mother. She should have traced me to the farm where I was working. Running back to her people is not the best option. My problem now is that I'm becoming notorious as one who is always fined, and I need to stop that. It is not my intention to influence your decision, but I want you to understand that she's carrying your baby. So make her time and go and see her. She asked me to tell you that she's waiting for you. Mm. Um, Dalurin, hmm? thanks for your information. Chuku Godzilla. My husband, what is the matter? You've not been yourself all day. There is nothing wrong with me. I am thinking about the baby. People allege that I was impotent. But you proved them wrong. What you're saying in a nutshell is that you don't share your mother's view. What view? She's complaining that I gave birth to a girl. She told me to my face that she wanted a boy. You know what you must do for me? You must not change. Forget my mother. Concentrate on the baby. I love her so much. And that is all that matters to me. I know people are calling you a bush girl from a bush tribe. But in my eyes, you remain a noble woman. Thank you. Thank you.
Running away is not a permanent solution. Yes, I agree. But it has some advantages. When we go out of sight, people we forget what happened. Do you know if we swear that oath, they're going to leave us alone? Yes, they're going to leave us alone. But we are going to die. The allegation is that we, we jointly slept with the youngest wife of the traditional prime minister. And she lured us with her money. She lured us with money. We did exactly what she wanted. We didn't go to her house and, and lure her. She asked us to do what her husband could not do. We assisted her in love. Stay right there. Don't make any move. Sit down. Sit down! How can you ask a man of this kingdom to sit down on the road? I am from this kingdom. I'm traveling to my wife's place, the next village. And you are traveling along this lonely path alone with two bars of yam? Yes. How dare you? Hmm. When has it become a crime that a man will not travel alone with two bars of yam? Guanum, who is this idiot? To be talking back at us. So, I know Queen Eku. Now, Yala. You cannot call me an idiot. Are you not Queen Eku? I'm a moon. You won't. Ay! 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 I came to see my wife and I was attacked by bandits. They collected the basket of yam I was coming with. Is not a total waste of time? Five two bars of yam for just this? What exactly do you want? Hmm? We should have taken the yam to our kingdom. Do you have sense at all? At least we would have kept the yams somewhere. Sincerely, I prefer we keep the yam, we cook them and we eat them than this money we realize eventually. Unfortunately for you, your advice is coming very late. We have already sold here. Yeah. Okay, Mkego. That's what we should be talking about now. We too like money. Ego. We too like money. <laughs> you don't like money. Oh, well. Take it, Joe. What they go do? Bring money. I don't know what you are doing. You giving me Wait, one one. Relax. What is happening? I cannot see anything. Even I, too, I cannot see anything. Hey, what's going on? Have you, 
Have you seen why? Have you seen why I said we should not have sold the arms? We're supposed to eat them. Just shut up. Shut up and, and allow me think. What I'm about to say might not go well, but that is the truth. What truth? Do you know the trauma he has caused my daughter? Let's not go into that. He is in love with our daughter and he remains her husband. We cannot refuse not to let a man go with his wife. But he said he was attacked. I've inquired from one of the seers I trust. And he told me that the evil that was sent to hit my daughter is still hanging on a nearby tree. I do not know what that means. But what I know is that if she goes back there, she may be hit. And I don't want to lose my daughter. I have given her an outlet loaded with powers that will protect her from evil attacks. She cannot be hit by any evil. Let us allow her to go. Descendants of warriors should not be afraid of people. They descended on me and collected all I had. It's okay. The most important thing is that you are alive. Those that stole from you have surrendered under your lordship. I am not the one that inflicted you with blindness. Looking at you, I know what your problem is. Huh? But what I know I can do is to make you see again. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, please, please help us. Help us. Eh? We, we just went blind. And we are, we are ringed without our sight. Please help us. Eh? You enter into this land with the stolen items. Huh? Two of us. Uh, 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 Am I talking to trees? Uh, yes. You enter into this land with stolen items. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. Please, yes. Uh, 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 please, just help us. We have already saw the, 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 the yams we collected. Uh, we are only here with the money we realized. Please, help us. And you stole the yam from a man of this land, right? Uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. He said he's a man of this kingdom and he's traveling to the next village to meet his wife. We told him that men do not travel alone to pass of yam. And who told you that? Uh, 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 that is the tradition of our people. Uh, yam is the king of crops that must be accompanied always. Uh, uh, it is not a general tradition. Uh, in fact, in this our kingdom of Umuawa, it is unknown. You don't force any man of this kingdom to obey your nonsense course tradition. Uh, okay. Eh? Please, we are sorry. Please help us. Sorry. I don't want Please. to be blind. Please help us. You know what? Uh. You have to surrender what you stole from a man of this kingdom. Uh. Yes. yes, and the gods of this land we give you back your sides. Here yeah, is it. Here yeah, is it. Please, take and return back our side, please. Yeah? Take, please. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I got Stacy. Stacy, thank you. Thank you.
What is the meaning of this mother? Why are you blocking her path? You don't want her to enter her room? I told you to force this man out of your life. He went on his own. You had the ghost to go and look for him. Mother, now listen to me. I went looking for her because she is the wife of my youth. Mm -hmm. I married her with my money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She does not have any connection with this family anymore. So let her go and let her go now. Go! Uh, yes, let her go. Go! Go! It's not by force. Go! go. go. Uh -uh. Just go! Go now. Go, go, go. go. Biko, my husband, please spare them. Biko, Nam, Biko, Biko, Zee. Biko, please, please, my love. Please, spare them. Oh? Come on, enter your room. Please, I want this council to decide. He went in search of a woman who left her husband's house without any reason. Knowing fully well that it is a taboo in this our land. Secondly, he wanted to kill me. Mother, you pushed me. Mother, you pushed me to the war. You should be ashamed of yourself that you always bring our matter to the castle of elders. Please shut up. <laughs> How do you challenge your mother? Are you normal? You committed an offense when you went in search of your wife that left without a reason. Yes. Are you claiming you don't know? Are you not a man of this land? Listen to me. Mm. As if that is not enough. You attempted to kill somebody in this family. She do what? You are fine. Yes. yes. One ram, one goat, and 21 tubas of yam is your fine. Ah, that is, is the tradition. What tradition? Tell me what tradition. People who have no regard for culture and human conscience will not hide under the cloak of tradition to, to perpetuate uh, injustice in this land. I'm the son of my father. I know the first rule of justice. You should listen to the other side. You concluded with what my mother said. Don't you think I have something to say? Don't you? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I think what he said is in order. Yes. You cannot judge a case on the account of only one side. You have to hear the both sides. Wait a minute. That we fish together does not make us age mates. Who gave you the right to contribute anything in this meeting? Eh? Uh. No, no. It's here, You know, did you just ask me that? Yes. That I, as a lab, should seek an approval before contributing in a meeting? Don't ah. twist this. Don't twist this. Don't twist this. I am certain he didn't mean it that way. But then I have to wait for him to present it the way he meant it. What is that? Huh? This man was attacked by bandits and could have been killed. Yes! Are you surprised? No, are you surprised on how I got to know? Listen, I can tell you that I know everything that happens in this land. What is that? Huh? We should be thanking Olisa. That saved his life and not placing fines of uh, a goats and rams. How many rams and goats are we going to find a man in his lifetime? Uh, we can continue finding the men until they die of rams and goats. Yes. Fools like you that die, they cannot use their, their heads. Yes. Why are we not supposed to be finding them? Look at you. You are standing here challenging many cats. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs>
I salute your courage. Thank you. I salute your determination to stand by your wife during her time of temptation. Remember, I told you that I asked the great one to do something to reverse the ugly situation. He finally answered. He finally answered. <laughs> Today, my daughter is a proud mother of a bouncing baby boy. I am happy today because I'm a proud father. Mm. Mm. Years back, people were mocking me, <coughs> telling me that I'm impotent. And a mother brought you. Bam. Bam. Mother brought you. Chugu Kalechali. Today I'm a proud father. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I should be happy. Only mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you are not going to be able to be I will give you a name for baby. Mm. I want to cheer. Mm. 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 Um, here is my son. He shall be called Onye Mechi. Onye Mechi. Onye Mechi. It shall be well with him. My people, I present to you, Onye Mechi. I can't believe this. You mean you went into the bush to fetch me firewood? Why are you stunned? You gave me what my heart desires. And automatically, you are the wife of the house. My daughter, you really know the art. You really know how to position yourself under your husband. That was why he was able to inject you with a male child. That bush girl does not know the art at all. <laughs> but she is pregnant again. And one cannot tell when true call Lisa will bless one with a male child. Ne, I am your mother. And I know the act more than you do. I, I want to apologize for everything I have done to you. I, I hereby promise to fetch all the water and firewood you will be using till the child is weaned. You are the mother of the king and I submit to your lordship. Did you just call me mother? I am not your mother. Reproduce like every other normal woman and give my son a child. 
then you can open that your cursed mouth and call me mother and I will answer. Well, I am so surprised that you're saying all this. But for the firewood, I am grateful. Thank you. Thank you too. I really can't believe all this are happening to me. Your mother has really changed. You know, she apologized to me over her negative attitudes towards me. And as if that was not enough, she went into the bush and fetched me firewood. She said she would continue like that until the child is weaned. My husband. Why are you looking this way? Are you not happy for me? I am not saying I'm against her closeness lately. But you must be very careful. Mm, yes, but I can tell she has changed. Yeah, she told me that I gave birth to a king and she wants to always be there for the child. Those that dine with the devil should always pick their food with a long stick. I am not saying my mother is evil. But I can see it very close. I want you to be very careful. Why are you compounding your own problems? How am I compounding my own problems? Do you even know what you're saying? You should be the one I should be asking. What have you just done? The same woman that came here to marry off your daughter without a man or even a woman of her land finally came here and told you she's no longer interested in your daughter. Idejimba. Idejimba. Why did you refuse to give her back her useless bride price? And why should I do that? After they have messed up my daughter, you want me to accept her just like that? They should come bring back my daughter the same way they took her. Speak the truth, Idejimba, and let the devil be ashamed. Because you are the one that messed yourself up. You are the one that messed yourself up in the manner you married your, your daughter off alone. I want to thank you so very much for recognizing the fact that she is my daughter. And how I decide to marry her off is none of your business. If you don't mind, leave my compound now. What did you just say? I said leave my compound. You know I respect you because somehow I believe you will begin to behave like a normal man of this kingdom. Idejimba, your madness has come to an end. And I am going nowhere. If you know that thing you have, go and bring it. man of authority that gets away with everything if you are man enough pull the trigger why are you behaving as if you don't know what I'm talking about 
Mama, I'm sorry, but it is not my fault that I have a girl child. Children come from Olisa. Shut up! Shut up! You disappointed me completely. By the way, why would you bring Olisa into this? Eh? You have been overused by the bushmen in your bush kingdom. That is why you don't know how to position yourself under your husband. Mama, Mama, I am pregnant again. Yeah. I, I, I can have a male child this time. Pray harder. Pray harder. Meanwhile, go and pack your things and keep them in a corner. Because if you bring forth another girl, eh? I will throw you back to that your bushland. I don't want more prostitutes in this house. Why are you wasting time? Pull the trigger if you're man enough. You died many years ago. And you are still here roaming around the world, causing confusion for people. I, I am going to end you now. You will experience the last death. refer to my daughter as a prostitute you are too basic to engage me in such a useless talk if you ever bring forth a girl in this family again you will know why they call me or chiorambango nonsense I already listened to your mother, and I believe her. That woman she got from Umuibide, it remains the worst thing that has happened to you. Hmm. Now that she ran away on her own, I expect you to be happy. Ezolabo, how do you expect me to be happy over this? Are you aware that she left with my unborn child? And that will not be a problem. Your child will come back to you. Do not allow that to disturb you. We bother to ask where she is as we speak. She might be in trouble. That again should not be a problem to you. First is tomorrow morning, we shall consult a seer that will finally confirm to us if she is safe or not. That is the only thing we need to do. Remember what your mother explained as to how she left. She believed that the gods just her away. Do not ever go for her before they will kill you. If you are sure she's planning evil against my daughter, then she must run from the same evil that shall rise. It will happen before all of you in your Abata village. You will surely remember this day. Uh -huh. I remember something now. Ah! What is it that you remembered? Hey! What Could it be that she is a seer? Could this be what she saw? Ah! Yeah? You are confusing me the moon. <laughs> Who is this she that you are talking about? Do not do anything stupid. Always remember that you are a great son of a great man of Umuama Kingdom. Remain here in Abata. I shall be back. Hey. to 
to me was mightier than me. I I felt like like I was losing my head. And the only thing that came to my thoughts was to return to my father's house. And that was exactly what I did. Obuevi Udenebona of Umuwa Kingdom is standing by you. Can you destroy what I have built? We feel the neighbor of Umuawa Kingdom. Why are you daring me? You, you did not just mention that name, Father. Do you know the man? Why feel the neighbor of Umuawa Kingdom? I do not know him one on one, but I know the name. He was my husband's father. But from the story I have gathered already, I heard he was a man of many sides. Why are you telling me about him? Those that told you he was a man of many sides were not far from the truth. Indeed, he was a man of complex sides. And why has he become a topic suddenly? I'm not asking about him. You are not asking. But for the great man that he was, he has metamorphosed into a great spirit. Now, he has hijacked my ministration. Hi hijacked your ministration? How is that even possible? Because he is a great spirit. To be sincere with you, I'm not interested. I'm no longer interested in this process. I beg your pardon. You cannot abandon me now. I have abandoned you already. The power I sent that disappeared was brought back to me by the same man. And I ask you to do the same. I want this woman and her son dead. If you abandon me now, how do I achieve this? If you are not careful, the gun that your father shall pull to kill the great man shall hit you and you will return home. If this happens, your sorrows shall be so massive that you will seek for where to hide or there shall be no place to hide. What is the meaning of this? I ask you, Ichi Okonta, what is the meaning of this? I paid you heavily to do this job, and now you are cursing me? Take your anger to your father. He was the one that failed you as a father. Your failure has nothing to do with me. And I give you an advice. Be careful with that gun. Now I'm beginning to understand what hits me. Tell me the truth, Father. Was that man here? And did you shoot him with a gun? Why do I have this feeling that the woman I sent to Mowa Kingdom is different from the one that came back to Father, me? Father, I did not come back on my own. I was forced back here. Now I'm beginning to reconcile what Okonta told me before now. With that name you just mentioned. Who is Okonta? And what did he tell you? Do not ask me questions, Father, if you have not answered mine. Was that man here? Did you shoot him with a gun? Why are you asking me to go in search of her when you know the implications of one doing that in this kingdom? My love, there are no implications in one going in search of a woman he loves. The woman in question is your wife. She's given you a child before. I don't understand you. You and I know how she left this compound. My mother who brought her to this compound says she's sick and tired of her. So why are you disturbing me? My husband. My sweet husband, can you hear yourself? Your mother is sick and tired of her. Why? Because she gave you a girl child? Listen to me, my love. 
a girl child is as important as a male child. She is your wife. Go in search of her. It is possible that the same spirit that attacked me attacked her too. <laughs> Adadim, why are you being this nice? Hmm? If all the women in this world have your kind of heart, this world will be an excellent place to live in. Dimoma, you will not sit here all day and praise me. You will go in search of your wife. Women are all unique in their individual natures. Go. Go and search for your wife, my love. Remember, she is pregnant. She gave you a girl child before. Who knows? She may give you a son this time. Hmm. Adadim, the wife of my youth. I pray to Elisa. In my next life, I want to marry you again. I will do as you have suggested. Hmm? Let me go. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Are you going Out all these years. You suddenly aborted my marriage to Okudili and urgently married me off to Umuwa Kingdom just to satisfy your evil desires. Can you see where it has landed me? Oh, do not cry as if all hope is lost. For I can assure you that nothing has started. You will go back to Umuwa Kingdom and continue living with that man. I need that time to conclude what I have started. Now listen to me, Papa. I am going to make this very clear. If you have anything to conclude in Umuwa Kingdom, start in time to plan on how to do it without me, for I will never return to that compound. Oh, you sound as if you have a lot of options. You do not, for you have already soaked your desperate hands in the evil waters of Okonta. That dreaded man of Umuwa Kingdom is ready to sacrifice you to stay alive. And I, your father, remain the only one who can save you. And there's only one way that can happen. Listen to me and obey my instructions. Neka, my child, I am going to ensure that you don't miss your mother. You're a daughter of this family. You deserve all the love in the world. And I will make sure that you get nothing less than all the love in the world. So if know that I was moved in my spirit to use this road, you would have continued to uh, 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 to 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 as a lab, as a lab, I want you to do me a favor. Be very careful with your choice of words. How can you say I'm daring the gods? By setting out on a journey to whom will be there, in search of a woman that the gods sets the way. You are daring the gods. Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? As a lab. By the way, who told you that the gods chased her away? Uh, we were scheduled. To go to see a seer tomorrow, eh? it will never happen again. In fact, it is cancelled. Tomorrow we shall go to your mother-in-law in Ifitane. She will open the pot of mystery to you. What nonsense pot of mystery to you? You are in the mess you are in today because you don't know the kind of mother-in-law you have. 
Just trust me on this. Tomorrow, we shall unmask what went wrong. Are you saying all these things to scare me or what? Why would I want to scare you? I am telling you the ministration that came up today. As we sat before the sea and inquiring into the positions of men of this family, you let husband. Obu if you the born of home one kingdom is very angry with you. Exactly what you said before. And I am wondering why my late husband would be angry with me. Because you undermine his age-long doctrine on patience. Patience and patience. You ran so fast. And you brought in that strange woman who took the name of this family to different places of negative influence. Uh, but luckily for you, the seer has listed all the things you must do to appease your husband. I want to understand what you mean by taking the family name to different places of negative influence. Who are you referring to? I am referring to the strange woman you single-handedly married from whom you be the kingdom. You remember the time when your son's wife was attacked? When she ran away, saying that she was attacked. Of course, she was attacked. She was attacked by your masinashi. Yes, she wanted to kill that woman with her unborn child. Fortunately for her, she was saved by the sacrifice her mother made to Uzisimu of the Aifitan. That's why she's still alive today. Now, your husband was the one that chased her out of your compound because her cup was full already. You must appease that great man that you married him, or he is going to allow them to execute their evil plans on your family. Who are making the plans and what plans are they making? My friend, Idejimba, I am bothered that your daughter could go this far. To take another person's life. It's an abomination. Now attempting to kill a pregnant woman is sacrilege. That is even stronger than mere abomination. She must appease the gods of this land and the gods of Umanwa Kingdom to purge herself of this sacrilege or she will be left at the mercy of the gods what are you doing where are you going i called you here to seek your advice and that is exactly what i have just done you must start immediately to expunge the sacrilege that is hanging around the neck of your daughter when the gods will rise they may not spare you. Because you were the one that led the one that went astray. I never bargained for that. All I wanted her to do was to get married into that place, have a child for them, and then I can hijack the family through that son. I don't know when she soiled her hands with blood. Why? You are the one in danger. For you lured the girl into her greed. Why are you not solving your problems? What do you want from me? Go to Umuwa Kingdom, to Avatar Village. Seek for the man called Iche Ifedema. Tell him what you did. You have two days to do this. What did I do that I have to look for someone to confess? The manipulation that brought you to where you are. Tell him how he started and the role you played. You have two days. Two days! I don't know exactly what you want from me. If you're planning to ask me to forgive you for everything you did to me, don't bother. For I will never, I repeat, I will never forgive you. So, in this your miserable life, you think that someone like me will ever seek your forgiveness? <laughs> so what are you doing here? Oh, oh, you 
came to see if I survived your attack. Well, go to Umuawa and understand that Masinachi is doing just fine. While you were in my house, you took my family name to different places of negative influence. What were you trying to achieve? I, I do not understand what you mean by that. Mm -hmm. When Adadima was pregnant with my grandson, she was attacked. Do you know anything about that attack? Well, I, I was busy in the background before you came. When you are done asking useless questions, you can leave the same way you came. Excuse me. Okonta. Who is Okonta? No. You don't know him, right? Anyway, I shall come back when I must come back. Oh, you sound as if you have a lot of options. You do not, for you have already soaked your desperate hands in the evil waters of Okonta. That dreaded man of Umuawa kingdom is ready to sacrifice you to stay alive. And I, your father, remain the only one who can save you. And there's only one way that can happen. Listen to me and obey my instructions. Why are they all talking about Okonta? Will he ever tell them what we did? Idejimba, my friend. The whole thing is becoming complicated. And I do not want to be involved in these complications. There are no complications anywhere, Zoigwe, my friend. That man that was not properly buried has been conspiring with my enemies to bring shame to me. And I am not going to tolerate that anymore. So, what do you want to do? I am going to cage him. I will cage him in such a way that it will make it impossible for him to appear anywhere ever again. You told me about a man of Abagana who has the capacity to cage evil spirits. Yes. You will take me to him firstly tomorrow. No. No, I will not go with you to anywhere. I won't. I can't believe this. You turn me down in a crucial period like this, and then you call yourself my friend? Idejimba, I am not turning you down. I am actually trying to guide you in the right direction. And that is exactly what I am doing now. Uh, what is that? First, Travel to Umuawa and see that man. There is no need for you to see Ezekitekwa of Abagana. Never. I will never travel to Umuawa kingdom. Never. To go there and make a fool of myself. Listen. If you do not want to help me, then keep your help to yourself. I will find a way to solve my problems. So much for friendship. Amen. A fresh art infected firewood should be ready for the visit of lizards. Hmm. Before she attacked you, your mother already had a revelation about a beautiful woman with the face of a he goat laughing at you. My mother already told me that. But I told her that nobody was laughing at me. You see how wrong it can be? Mas Nachi was the evil woman laughing at you. Is that what my mother told you? Your mother was emphatic about it. Mas Nachi was the evil woman. She actually came to bear me a son that would later become evil like her evil father. Her father already perfected the plans to take over this kingdom through that evil child. My husband, 
I hope you've not allowed my mother to instigate fear in you with her scary revelations. Reasons I don't go to her as often as I should. She must always have one scary thing to say. On the contrary, I am not scared. But I am angry with myself for allowing myself to enter that evil woman without consulting a seer. I am angry. Now it's possible that that child she left with is that son of mine that will become evil. I was very stupid and she possibly got that child from me. My love, are you in any way saying that you won't go in search of her? <clears throat> Sincerely, I think you should. If not for anything, for the sake of that child. Go to Umuwa Kingdom, to Avatar Village. Seek for the man called Iche Ifedema. Tell him what you did. You have two days to do this. First, travel to Umuwa and see that man. There is no need for you to see executive part of a bargain. Never! I will never make a mess of my integrity by going to a man to discuss what I did in my sacred chambers. I will solve this problem my way. Mother, without any fear of contradiction, you know it yourself that you are the problem you are fixing in this family. You failed to give my wife the time she needed as a wife. Now look at where your lack of patience has landed us. Please, don't just make it the mistake of playing into the hands of our enemies. There is nothing wrong with us. I disagree with you totally, mother, if you say there's nothing wrong with us. Are you aware that the woman you smuggled into my life left with my unborn baby? Uh-huh. How is that a problem? Already I have set a mercenary in motion. Inum will be there. As soon as she is delivered of that child, I shall go there and take it. And she will never see that child again. So my son, we don't have any problem. Trust me. My father went to Ichie Ifedema and instructed that you must kneel before his grave with a white cock to appease him for undermining his ex-doctrine of patience. I have already done that. And I want you to be rest assured that my husband is not angry with me again. When did you do that? Excuse me? I told you I have done it. Eh? And you don't even believe I did it. You didn't tell me. I'm excited. This is the best news I have heard in a long while. Father, why would you be excited about this pregnancy? As far as I'm concerned, I don't need this pregnancy. For it will prevent me from getting a suitor that would be interested in me for who I am. Oh, don't talk like a child, my daughter. This pregnancy is more important than 10 suitors put together. Listen, when I asked you to go back to Umuwa Kingdom and wait for time, what I meant was go back there and get pregnant. I didn't even know you were already on. Father, this whole thing doesn't make sense to me at all. I mean, why would a man of Umu be there? Be interested in an unwanted pregnancy that belongs to a man of Umuwa Kingdom. There is a seed of dominance that I want to plant in that land. Just pray that this child you're carrying is a son. That will be your hook toward unlocking your future. And what makes you think you have any future to unlock in Umuwa Kingdom? I know that voice. You survived before because I was not prepared for you. 
What can you do? Shoot me without your useless gun? Show yourself and then see what I can do. Father, are you losing it already? Who are you talking to? Didn't you hear the voice of that fool from Umuawa Kingdom who wanted me to ruin my integrity by going to make a useless confession in his land? Show yourself now and then know why they call me the Dejimba of Fumuibi the Kingdom. <laughs> Father, 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 She didn't lie. She humbled herself as she was instructed and did exactly what she was told. Because of what she did, she is going to live to see the good days. I am still worried about the woman of whom we My mother seems to have a plan in place. That as soon as she delivers, she will collect the baby. But I don't know how she's going to achieve that. Your wife, Adadima, daughter of Ezewanyi Dowala Guagwa of Ifitane, is on the verge of giving you a second son. That should be your concern. Not the woman of whom you be there, that your father is already handling. Hmm. It's <laughs> Dima. Is it my father that told you that my wife will bear me a son? Kino Alamog, we, we have seers in this land that see. And when we are confused about anything, we ask questions. There was a veil of hopelessness that was covering her all these years that she was unable to conceive. That was exactly what prompted your mother to make the move that she made. Right now, that veil of hopelessness is no longer in existence and you have become a man of great hope. Hmm. I am not going to say much, Ichi Ivedim. <laughs> but if, if it happens the way you said it, that my wife delivers me a son. <laughs> ah. I will slaughter a very big cow. We will celebrate. Then I want to ask you to get the cow ready. Begin in time to prepare for the celebration because <laughs> it will happen exactly the way it has been revealed. No bargain. Hmm? No, you better run now I feel like my father used something on me to make me marry the man of Omoa. The way I dumped Okodili and followed that woman cannot be ordinary. I mean, everything is now making sense to me. The only thing I can say is that it's the same man that revealed himself was the one that finally killed your father. I don't know why your father changed. He was an easygoing man who was committed to the progress of the land. And then he changed. And he used me as a tool to achieve his evil desires. He was your father. And he has died. He has been buried. And we must leave him with the gods. So you don't speak ill of the dead. Who cares? Idejimba was a very wicked and selfish man. I feel like exhuming his body and, and killing him myself. Ah! Ah! I saw ah! it coming. You have lost that seed of manipulation from your father. And this is a new beginning for you. The information I got is that she lost the pregnancy. It was supposed to be a sad day, but somehow I'm happy that it happened. My love, I would not want you to say that again. 
This is an act of rejoicing over another's misfortune, and it is not a good thing. I am not rejoicing over the misfortune. I am rejoicing over my own deliverance. What they planned for me was bad, but my father waged the war for me. I will forever remain grateful for having such a great father. Yes, I have a great father-in-law. He waited until we were tired, and then he showed himself. Each year, even the mama assured me that the baby you're carrying is a boy. And when he comes out, I say, when he comes out, I shall slaughter a very big cow for my people. Why am I a mother was? Dear mama. Well, I do not have a problem on how you want to celebrate the arrival of your child, but I would have loved this one to be a girl child. <laughs> mm -mm. This one, like the first one, will be a son. Hmm? The third one shall be your own girl. Hmm? The beautiful and dedicated wife my son found for himself. Why did it take me this long to notice? Oh, oh, my lovely children. My lovely, oh, Unyam. <laughs> Mama, mama, namo, namo, what do you give? There is something remarkable that we have experienced in this family in the last couple of years. And that thing is very simple, that the gods and the ancestors of a people are perpetually greater than the people. Look at our son and our brother, Shinwalomog. The great son of Oguifu, the neighbor of our own Bonwa kingdom. The same one that was once referred to as an impotent man is today here to name his second son. <laughs> and I am so sure, based on what we have experienced, that in the future, nobody will ever have reason to move before the gods in anything. King Almogo, please, name your son. Ivan Kassiani? Yes! Ivan? Yes! Ivan? Yes! Katan? Yes! Oh, his name is Ivan Chukudel. May the gods be praised. Yes! For the blessings of this day, the blessings of this occasion, Remain with the entire Umwawa kingdom now and forever. Ise! I want you to be my daughter-in-law. You are simply the best. <laughs> 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 <laughs>